It's weird to not have Billy kind of sat here talking about it, but the thing is, if he was still here, this would never have happened. So I guess I have to be grateful that from the darkness, there is always a little bit of light. The social interaction is a massive thing that homeless people miss, especially kind of eye contact. And I think one of our main hopes is that with the Billy Chip, it's gonna help the homeless feel less invisible. Your mental kind of state and your mental health can go downhill so quickly just from not having that interaction with people. My name is Meg Abernethy Hope. I'm 23 years old and I'm one of the founders of the Billy Chip. The origin of the charity started out when my little brother, Billy, came up with the idea of the Billy Chip after my dad had come home and thrown all of his change into a pot. Billy had come up to him and said, you know, Dad, how much change have you thrown away today? Why wouldn't you give it to somebody that's homeless? My dad turned around and said, I'm really worried about enabling a drug addiction or an alcohol addiction, and I don't want to make that worse for anybody. So Billy came up with the idea of the Billy Chip token in exchange for them to be able to get something that's useful and would hopefully help them out, like a drink or food. Hi, man. Hiya. My name's Meg, you all right? Yeah. Can I come and sit with you for a minute? Yeah, no problem. Oh. Right. Being homeless, you think you're like, the, the, like you're all alone, there's no one out there. Yeah. And like the, the actual homeless people, there's like, like, different, like different people, like, you get a lot, of, not a lot, but you get quite a few homeless people who, who like drinking. Yeah. You know, alcohol. And they, they, they ask for money, like change and that, to buy the alcohol. Then you get people who, who, who take their drugs, you know, and then you get the, the odd one or two like me <laughs> who don't do nothing like that. You just generally want change to get up, like you said, a hot drink. Well, I'll tell you what, Rod and Ruby's which are over there, they actually will redeem that. So, do you fancy going to get a drink? Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, yeah. come on then, <laughs> let's go and grab a drink. Billy died in a motorbike accident over in Koh Tao last March in 2018. And we wanted to leave him behind a legacy. He was really in touch with his emotions and I mean, especially when he was younger, kind of this age here. Um, we'd go out into Bristol and, you know, whatever for the day with mum and go shopping. And he'd end up giving, you know, all of his pocket money to somebody that was homeless. He'd end up giving all of his food to somebody that had a dog. And he'd come home and say things like, you know, mum, where's that person going to sleep tonight? We've written the words, you're fabulous and don't you ever forget it, on all of the chips, which is the last thing that Billy wrote on my mum's Mother's Day card which he'd probably written about two days before he left. If the silver lining out of losing Billy is the Billy chip and what we've done, and we can help at least one person to make their day a bit better, then it's testament and a huge legacy for Billy to have left behind because it was his idea. It's a weird one, I guess. In some way, we feel like we're preserving Billy's legacy through the Billy chip. Um, but in another way, I guess we're kind of creating one as well. And if Billy was still here, this wouldn't have happened. And so the legacy of the Billy Chip is, I guess, built upon trying to make somebody's day a little bit better. We know that we're not going to solve homelessness with the Billy Chip. We know it's not something that we can fix. But please realise that actually your life is worth something and everything that you bring to this planet is really important and we need you. Having a, having a chip like that, um, me, well, me, well, me a hell of a lot to someone like me who's homeless because it's demoralising, you know, asking for change from people. But yeah, if like if if people like come up and give you like one of these chips, wow, that is amazing, you know, and. Yeah, that, that means a lot, that definitely means a lot because it <laughs> warms you up on the inside out. It was mind blowing to kind of just see the chip in action. So after speaking to Lee and kind of hearing about his story and how he ended up being homeless and the situation he's been through to actually 
see the gratitude on somebody's face for them to turn around and go, do you know what, that has, you know, possibly saved me. It is an incredible step up for us. Um, I think the words Billy would probably say about today is you're fabulous and don't you ever forget it. <laughs>